It has been an epic voyage. In 51 days, a team of six soldiers, including four amputees, have sailed thousands of miles across the Atlantic in a rowing boat. Along the way, they have run out of drinking water, they've broken the rudder, and they've spent Christmas away from their families. Well, now they are minutes away from the sunny shores of Barbados. Garant Vincent has been following their journey, and he joins me from Barbados now. So, Garant, how close are they then to land? Uh, they're going to come in here to the harbour any time in the next hour, Mary. We've actually sailed out to see them round to the north edge of the island this morning. Uh, they're looking a lot thinner and their beards are a lot longer than they were uh, the last time I saw them. It was kind of difficult to hear them over the waves, but from the smiles on their faces, uh, it was obvious that they're very excited to be uh, making landfall. They're in for a bit of a, a culture shock uh, when they arrive here at Port St. Charles. Um, they've been living on freeze-dried food and, uh, and water for the last two months, but they're going to come here to the yacht club where uh, a good meal and, of course, all their loved ones, loved ones and, and probably a beer or two uh, are waiting for them. Well, Garen, it has been a remarkable journey, truly, hasn't it? Nearing completion against all the odds. Yeah, well, Neil Heritage, who's the double amputee uh, member of the crew, described uh, the crew halfway through as the unluckiest rowing boat crew uh, in the history of seafaring. And uh, he, he may well be right. I mean, they did have the most rotten luck. Their desalination machine broke down halfway through, which meant that they uh, got very low on fresh water supplies. And then in rough seas, their rudder was snapped into, uh, which meant that they're arriving here actually about two or three weeks later than they would have done. But all of that really does make their achievement all the more extraordinary. It really does. Well, give them, give them a warm welcome from all of us here at ITV News. Garant, thank you.